42. I hope everybody's happy to happy Memorial Day today. And you're joining Logical Excess line episode number 12. Okay. And I quickly found out that um, I'm going to be struggling with finances in Blood and Wine because I tried to to craft the uh, feline armor and found out I don't have the finances to uh, pay for it. So... Uh, so, <clears throat> I've done a little bit of light research. I used the Witcher guide that I purchased about a year and a half, two years ago, <laughs> almost. Um, looked at some of the builds that were on offer, and uh, a little bit of light research on YouTube has confirmed that, you know, I needed to change my build. So, what I did off screen is I changed my build to a more melee and alchemy focus build um, and I also learned that the best way to obtain crown in blood and wine is to go to the bandit camps and don't kill the leaders which unfortunately yesterday I did kill the leader of one of the bandit camps but I didn't know <laughs> that as long as you keep the, the leaders alive they'll keep respawning so one of the bandit camps are not going to be available to me here. And it would be this one here. And I'm not so quite sure. Is there five of them here or is there only three? Because if there's only three, then I've only got this one here, Han's base, left. You know, so I only have two options, which is unfortunate. But, anyways, there's still a lot of stuff I haven't explored yet. So one of these may, like here, for instance, I haven't been here, and there's boards. You know, it's crazy. I mean, this expansion is huge, really. Um. So yeah, the new build here is 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 basically a whirlwind, heavy whirlwind build, but it also has. Sunder armor and rend. And it's also, the build is also like equipment dependent too, but I don't have the necessary equipment. And I think it requires have yet, but I feel like I at least need to start making preparations toward this build if I'm not quite there yet. Because I, I'm going to need to farm gold essentially to actually just buy all the new witcher gear that's available which kind of sucks i'm not going to really do that on stream i won't be farming gold on stream i'll be doing it off stream but it's just a matter of preparation really so And really, I think the next thing to do really that's going to open things up for me is go to this turn and face the strange. Search for Moreau's grave at Orlemore Cemetery using your Witcher sensors. As it was a warm summer evening or perhaps a cool yet sunny morning, the weather and time are of no import. What matters is that day Geralt received a letter from Yennefer who informed him about a most unusual discovery she had recently made. She'd found mention of research conducted by Professor Moreau on Witcher mutations. It seemed this professor's workshop could be found in Toussaint. Geralt, realizing the importance of this discovery, decided to find his laboratory. The first step would be to find the professor's journal, which, according to Yen, had been buried with him. I am showcasing the new Grandmaster crafted cat boots that I was able to pay for. Um... And I've got, you know, some garbage. I don't have much, but I got some trash loot I can sell. So let's see where 
where we are and where this quest is. Double back, double back, double back, double back. Not even a draft horse we talk without some carrot to move it. And here we are at the cemetery. Libiota's gate. We have a sodden letter. Letter is soaked through and falling apart. Can barely be read. Bruce, don't do anything stupid. I know you buried Selena at the Beauclair Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Remember, we deserve a cut of that too, so don't be an idiot. We all know you were her lover. But remember, she was also the leader of our gang, and that's what really counts. We never got our share for knocking over that jeweler, Mothenberg's shop. So burying Selena with all the loot is pure jackassery. Those treasures belong to us all. Let's meet up and split things in an honest fashion. Then you can go drown yourself in the lake or hang yourself from any branch of your choice. Robin. The last exploits of Selena's gang. Find the treasure hidden in the cemetery. Intending to take a refreshing dip in Said Ligad, Geralt happened on a corpse. Unsurprisingly, this quelled his desire to dive into the lake's shimmering waters. 
Yet on the corpse, which proved to be that of, of his suicide, he found a letter. The letter spoke of the love that had bl- bloomed between Selena and Bruce, two famed Beauclerars, Beauclar, Beauclerall, cat burglars. It also detailed the sad end of the duo stories, but in Tale of Burglars is a tale of their loot. Always a big spender, and thus, ever in need of coin, the Witcher resolved to find the hidden treasures. Bear with me. <coughs> Bear with me here. I think I'm going to get sidetracked if I keep going down that path. Because I, I see that there's another quest there. So let's go ahead and search for this fellow's grave. Patrick Mulan talked himself to death. Tomas Moreau, professor. Here it is. Elas Cavani Alder in Dolneved. Elas Alder in Corazon. Gorsan de Alarin. Inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in Dolnevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Alderin. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. What Matt Bien sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Hellerim and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Where's I? Th- you know what? I don't remember where the heck, heck this map w- is or was. I know that I looked at it yesterday unintentionally. Maybe this is it here. It was not. I think this is it, but I don't know how to interpret it. Hmm. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Some the tour flows through there. Must be where the Valley of Nine once lay. Need to explore the location. Gerald soon discovered not only he wished to find Professor Moreau's laboratory. When the Witcher re- reached the cemetery, he found the professor's grave had been dug up and the journal was nowhere to be found. The only clue he did find was an inscription on a grave mentioning the legendary Dol Nevde, the Valley of the Nine. 
which had been flooded years before by the San Sartor River. Seeing no other way to find the professor's lab, Geralt decided to search for more information in those sunken ruins. And so that is probably taking us over here. Okay. Now that we're going there, I guess we can do this other treasure hunt quest before we leave Toussaint. Is this an inn called the Clever Clogs? What can I do? Someone do something. What you got, brother? What's this about? Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes. And I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the Ducal Guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then, whack! Thud! As if a mother bear slammed pit first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. How much will I get for this? How much would you like? I have that amount. What would you say to a festival discount? On account of the her uh, tourney? Agreed. An extra five gold. Wow. Fine. I'll five crown. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. Uh, 
Investigate the noises coming from the cemetery. to save us from the beast? Why, he's just a... a... a molly cottle. The jaw-dropping yeah. man comb awaits a challenge. Nothing doing. Sammy rakes around here. Refix of Forhorn. So content to see you. Le Papillon Troubadour. Remember? Hey there. You know what? The whole Ravix thing? Only ever a joke. Call me Geralt, please. Geralt of Rifir? Naturally! How did it ever escape me? You must know, I'm a devoted fan. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Of Master Dandelion. I know the bards, every ballad in his cycle about the Witcher. Oh, I cannot believe my luck. Need something? From me? Indeed. A matter most magnificent. My coiffeur, Jean-Louis Lotofic, has gone missing. Now, you shall rescue him while I compose an epic ballad about it. Listen, fair folk, to a glorious tale of a missing friseur and a witterhood prevail. What happened exactly? Claim the hairdresser's missing, but are you sure? Yes, yes. I've no doubt something's transpired. Something terrible, absurd. Jean-Louis never late to work. He's punctual to a fault. I'm certain he'd be honored if I am the one to sing of his dramatic rescue. Who's gonna pay me to find this barber? I will. Such opportunities come knocking rarely. But you must take me with you, for I must transcribe all that occurs as it happens. Fine, but... Unusual as contracts go, it'll cost you more. Naturally. To be expected. So you can get an extra 24 gold, which would be 20%. Yes, by all means. As you wish. Fine, see what I can learn. Now if you have to come with me, just one request. Stay out of the way. Mine and my swords. Of course. You shan't even notice me. Jean-Louis Studio is just there. Right here. Ah! What's the matter? I've hit upon the perfect ending. And all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. <laughs> Thought this was about a witcher and a coiffure. What's the Duchess got to do with it? Her grace can be as fickle as the cult she rides. Today, all remember my fine couplets of the tawny. Yet tomorrow, her illustriousness bought by her breakfast might demand a new epic poem. One must grab at opportunity before it flits away. Well then, where shall we start? At the door, by breaking it down.
Force open the doors of the hairdresser salon using the art sign. Beauclair is a city steeped in tradition. Awash with wine and echoing with song, though an unfortunate banishment had deprived its artistic scene of a certain bard's stimulating presence several years prior. At this time, the town was still home to many talented composers, including a certain Adrien de Rollo, whose career had, I had launched by giving him the nom de plume, Le Papillon. It was this rising literary star who one day asked Geralt for help finding a missing person, his hairdresser and close friend. Though this did not seem at first a job for a witcher, Geralt, for whom old habits die hard, decided yet again to help a poet in need. Recipe is a jealously guarded secret. Hmm. Looks like he ran out. Subjects are plenty for pilots all around. Advertising it's leaflet. Ladies and gents, grands dames, are you ready for the new season? I'm Only here. The latest hairstyles from the north at reasonable prices. Avant-garde streaks and highlights. Symmetrical and asymmetrical bobs. Evening styles, including the Her Illustrious Highness, Old Elven Hair Straightening Treatments, Permanent Wave, Truly It Is Permanent, Trust Your Scalp to the Master, Jean-Louis Ludovic. This jar is empty too. Letter from Edgar de Lavalier. Dear Jean Louis, as you instructed, I have taken a post as assistant royal hairdresser to King Tancred Thiessen, and have been active in that position for two months. I dash this note off to you now because I must inform you of a most startling development after weeks of analysis, consultations with specialists, and trial runs on the modal doppelgangers. The chief royal hairdresser, Master Hector, has decided to give Marziola, the king's current favorite, a bob, of course. Morzaiola, being a mere king's mistress, cannot indulge in such extravagances as an asymmetric bob or an, or an endearingly shaved nape. Therefore, her bob is rather the classically elegant sort. With a fringe that wonderfully complements the line of her eyes and covers her altogether unfortunate forehead. Just as we speculated, the bob shall soon make a triumphant reentry as in the absolute rage of the royal salon. And thanks to me, you, my dear friend, are now the first hairdresser of the South to know about it. I thus declare my mission accomplished and a stunning success. I'll gather up my trappings and prepare to return. I hope you are ready for a long and eventful tete tete once I arrive, and I hope that will be soon, for this seaside climate really does not suit me one bit. And this swill they call wine and cobier is positively disgusting. Warm embraces, Edgar Lavalier. For his log, a manicure, curling, Centrian pendulum, Rivian ponytail, raftsman's do. Hmm. Long out of style in Novigrad. Ah, uh, his appointments. Last one was a certain Lady La Pompadour. Know her? Yes, a dear old bird. Jean Louis done her hair for a decade. Completely harmless. Sketch here. Looks like a map. This mean anything to you? 
Hmm. I may understand to eight points, but if so, there's not there. Just fields and meadows. Think I understand. As do I. Perhaps. Around he looked, yet all was quite proper. I see rays as pomades, but no blasted hair chopper. Mind being quiet for a minute? I think I might know what happened to the hairdresser. No evidence of a break-in, no signs of a struggle. To my mind, he just went out to find ingredients for his pomade. Looks like he ran out. Of pomade. Yes, indeed. He'd have gone into the meadows beyond the city to gather flower petals for it. Trolls must have devoured him. Or a cyclops. Splendid either way. Think you could find the place using his lead the way that... Hair balsam formula. An aged lady's hair is an attribute, a lure for men, and her most vital decoration. That is why a key issue for hairdressers is how to look after this type of hair and also how to deal with that other eternal dilemma, split ends. Unfortunately, in today's world in which the magic potions of sorceresses reign, we have forgotten about traditional folk remedies. That's why here I shall put in writing a recipe for a conditioning balsam given to me, given to me by Patrice... Ludovic, my grandfather and ducal hairdresser at the court of Carolina Roberta. A tablespoon of beeswax. Make sure it is clear, uncontaminated with bee glue. Five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Five tablespoons of rap rapeseed oil. Four and a half tablespoons of almond oil. Six tablespoons for a change of castor oil. Four tablespoons of grapeseed oil, preferably from Castle Revelo wines, but Coronado will also do. Then melt the whole mixture, and when it reaches a temperature beyond that of boiling water, add essential oils according to a preference. The best is lemon to emphasize the freshness of the scent. At the end, add a drop of sunflower oil and voila, the balsam is ready. They ventured beyond walls by vines entwined Into the unknown the poor barber to find Gonna do that the whole way? Bidding them farewell the gravestones must covered They strode briskly on by doubts unencumbered <sighs> Halt! The location from the map! Damn it! Get back! <laughs> Always forget what these things are. I think they're cursed, though. They are. Okay. What beast was that? An Arcaspor. Might there be more nearby? 
Who knows? And your sharpened senses, what do they say? That you'd rather turn and run. No, <laughs> a primo jest. Let us continue onward. I know you'll stand in my defense. You will, will you not? On to the second point on the map. The witch's plate flashed, juices spouted and poured, covering all about in anarchist spores gore. There! Jean Louis Pasquet! I'd recognize it anywhere. He was here. We can be certain now. A basket of flower petals. Same smell as the pomade. Mm -hmm. Just like a clue. Grass is trampled. Multiple sets of footprints. A little blood. Seems you were right. He ran into trouble. Phew! What luck! I just hope it's not Cyclopes. Hot pressed to find a rhyme for that. So? On his trail yet, are you? Oh, we have a cave entrance, huh? Ground's made of rock. Trail's gone cold. Wandered deeper into the cave. So dark as to brought one to fear. Fear uninspiring. No rhymes at the ready. This is an I dedicate this ballad to our stately, no, our magnanimous and gracious rule. Chains. Little too they know they'll be punished in pain. Quiet down. Poppycock, you beard mangler! The latest rage in some bomb botched covier. We're in Nilfgaard, you bong munch! What did he do to you? What did he do? He quaffed me, gave me a duck's ass, an ape drape, an, an ape drape. Bun. I don't even know. So ashamed I couldn't attend the tourney. I'd have proved my valor. Mamma Sel Vivian that have my prize. Then this scallywag with his talk of the rage missed my chance by the hair on my head. Got him back good from what I can see. That is but the start. I've not yet decided if I should snip off something more. Doesn't seem terribly chivalrous. What about honor? Your oath on the peacock? All that. I do vow on the noble bird, I shall gut you if you do not skedaddle. Onward! Stand and fight! I challenge thee, and you boys dare not intervene. By golly, by gum, this will be chivalrous! Listen, children, a story you shall hear of a witcher who walloped a rogue knight's steady air. 
It's grown rather late. I believe we'll be on our way. Le Papillon, Le Beholder's wounds. You saved me at the last second. You're welcome. Jean-Louis Ludovic, I presume. Let's get out of here before he... Quiet, both of you. I've got it. They froze in their fear, the knight's henchmen and squires. While his bowels set loose, heaven would spiral. The witcher cleft him in two lacerated. His neck swing the swine adroitly castrated. With one more caress from the witcher's blade, the knight's guts popped out, his breakfast betrayed. They hobbled a pace on his stamp arms like crutches, all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. That was pretty good. Bravo. Almost believed you were there. Doesn't it seem so? At last, Master Dantilion has a worthy competitor. What about my pay? I've decided you should receive a reasonable share of the royalties. Payable, let us say, semi-annually. Meaning you're broke just now. <clears throat> I owe you a thousand thanks, Master Witcher. I, I'll gladly pay your reward. Not to mention trimming you when you see the need that come by. Mm, thanks. Take care now. Of Shears and Witcher, I sing. Suspicions were well founded. The hairdresser had indeed run into some serious trouble. An unsatisfied client, a knight named Beau Duval, had taken him captive. Humiliated by a haircut which he felt did no justice to his inner beauty, Duval wanted the hairdresser to pay a high price for his sloppy scissor work. Luckily, Geralt arrived in the nick of time and challenged Duval to a duel, which I am pleased to reveal the Witcher won. In this way, the knight was taught a lesson. The Witcher earned the undying gratitude of hairdresser and poet alike.
anything, but might want to look around anyway. Tracks. Trampled grass and <laughs> bloomers. Not the kind of moaning he meant, though. Smashed padlock. Someone broke in. things. Oh! What a day. drops of pain, and lo and behold, I see better. Is someone being held captive down here? That's the only thing I can think of. Or it could be a wraith.
better to die of drink than of boredom. Come to visit your grandpa's grave, I guess. What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, you have a plumbing philosopher. Get the swarmy cat diddler, lads. If I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Ode to Gwent. Ode to Gwent, proposal number seven for the anthem of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. Author, Stefan de Duval. Master Cooper, Gwent is like a ruddy wine. Gwent's a knight with a lady fine. When before you two armies clash, you're cursed but to play, play, play. But her indoors wines hit the hey, hey, hey. Such minds are dull as muddy yards to think this is but a game of cards. Chorus. Gwent is my liberty. Gwent is my fraternity. Gwent relieves the day's sorrow. And Gwent is my morrow. Poker has had it, and dice is a bore. There's no other game that makes you want more. There are no better satisfactions. Greater than Beauclair's Bells is its list of attractions. Greater than even the Festival of Drinks. Or even a tipsy young minx. They can holler and shout. They can release the guards. I'm leaving home. I'm off to play cards. Gwent is my liberty. Gwent is my fraternity. Gwent relieves the day's sorrow. And Gwent is my morrow. Freaking grave robbers. And that's not even what I came down here for. Jeez. Is this a way out? It looks like it. But it's locked. It's locked. You'd think it'd be locked from the inside. Where I am, so that means I'd be able to op uh, open it. I'm already kind of lost here.
And here's where I just butchered this, guys. Okay. I've got my bearing now. Loaded down and encumbered here before I get out of here. But you know what? I needed this loot. Really. For lack of a uh, crown. And we just completed the last exploits of Selena's gang. The letter spoke of the love that had bloomed between Selena and Bruce, two famed but plural. Oh, Geralt discovered he was not the lone prospector for the treasure Selena had left behind, so he quickly cut down his competitors, a band of grave robbers, and made off with the loot. Journal kept by Quail at Gardner. First day of service, so diddling bored. There's really solid all to do here. A quick morning rounds enough to water all the plants. Flower bed in front of the embassy doesn't demand much care either. And so it goes day after day. Maybe tonight I'll take a jaunt to San Sebastian and play a hand of Gwent. 22nd day of service. Bloody Gwent. Lost a whole month's wages. Next month's too. Racked up debts with that gray bill Pelegrin. Heard he doesn't let such things slide. Got to scrounge up a few florins somehow, or this might end badly for me. 24th day of service. Overheard the ambassador give instructions to his secretary. In the coming days, they'll send a transport carrying wine bought from the imperial court, along with someone used operational wherewithal. My guess they mean a sack st stuffed with florins. Information like that could be worth a fortune to a lad from the right part of town. 27th day of service. Grey Bill Pelegrin slaughtered the caravan's guard, snatched all his cargo, had the gall to deliver a pouch of coin to me at the embassy, said it was my share. I spit on his coin, but I'm afraid it'll, I'll need it soon enough. I hid what he gave me in a safe place. Ever since old Ralph died, no one buys wooden planters anymore, so his workshop is the perfect hiding spot. 29th day of service. Grey Bill told me to keep my ears open at the embassy. Find out when they'll have another caravan to grab. As if an afterthought, he added that guard commander would be quite shocked to learn about my role in the previous hijacking. I stole the next convoy's route from the secretary's office. It's the price I must pay for my idiot idea of going in cahoots with Grayville Pellegrin. 31st day of service. The transport set off. This time it's escorted by Arnold F. Bloom, commander of the embassy guard. Grayville's men don't know they're in for a fight against the elite soldiers. When he finds out 
Then it's time to get out of here. Coin I set aside should be enough to start afresh somewhere far, far away. Mech seem mech seems like a good direction. My act. Orders from Robin. That foolish flatulence fluffer Bruce has tried to cheat us again, but he won't get away with it this time. Take a pickaxe and a shovel and pay our dearly departed boss a visit. Her kitty face was hideous to look at even when she was alive, so the very thought of looking at it now that she's dead gives me the bloody runs. Take the jewels, pearls, and other valuables bum-nibbling Bruce tossed into her grave. Oh, and if you see the milk sop hanging around the cemetery, break his necks. Break his neck. Robin. P.S. Apparently, ever since Selena's death, that kid's been moping near Olamore's cemetery, howling at the moon. If I know life, and I do, he's got with him the key to the chest we buried with that bitch. Perhaps we could end his suffering by ending his miserable life in the lake. If he hasn't drowned himself already, that is. While strolling through Beauclair's charmingly romantic streets, Geralt learned of a circumstance thoroughly charmless and unromantic. Come night, something was making much tastelessly grating noise at the city cemetery. Wait till dusk. Wait till dust, so I guess we'll go ahead and just meditate <laughs> for the time being. <laughs> Heck, it's almost dusk, isn't it? 8 p.m. I thought it was just over here. Louis de Corentin died on the day of St. Zoetham's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Hmm. Gold. Can't 
could be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Margot de Quarantin. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Really? We keep doubling back, huh? Hmm. Something's not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some dwarf! Disgusting! Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it, since the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once. Mm. Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery. I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And... Who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times? Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My families. The Decorantans. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so, and I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew <laughs> it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd still be alive! It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death! They murdered you for your debts! I had nothing to do with it! 
come by heed this good book thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! Heretic, shut your mouth! I shall speak to you no more! No, no, it is I! The Witcher investigated and discovered that neither grave robbers nor necrophages were the source of the den. Rather, the ruckus was the work of a couple, the Degorntins. For as in life, so in death, they could not abide each other's company, causing much fear and confusion with their shrill disputes. Geralt concluded that separation was the sole sensible solution. He would have to remove one of the remains from the tomb they shared, transferring them elsewhere. I see you fell for that pious tart driven drat. Ah, oh, well, then listen, I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah, once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. Might get some Gwent cards out of this. <laughs> oh my god. Deeper in the catacombs. Right, let's go. Private chamber of the right honorable members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. May they always draw their best. Private chamber. The right honorable members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. This is it. That ought to do. Right. High time Marco paid up. city through the Corpus Gate, then we are right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. Might I ask what you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or a privy. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell.
Search for a house with a tree-shaped crest outside the walls of Hotville. The thug. Here we are at Cooper's Gate. Time is no cock. It keeps going. In the mood for fireworks and action.
Just like she said. And the Gwent cards, as promised. too dark, man. I need to meditate till daylight. Reginald Aubrey has returned, not to be missed. Like Buy your tickets now, available from me alone. Behold, the famous Reginald Stokely, the man with the donkey. Mm. Determination. He must have been breathtaking. Can't believe Truth. I'm actually doing this. I would so have loved <laughs> to meet you. Ah, a statue like any other, a nude chap, nothing Good extraordinary. Ah. And the genitals. Overblown, most certain. Do you know who recovered Reginald's troops? We have to return, oh, not to it be missed. Buy your tickets now, and then you can be alone. alone. The Duchess summoned him. While I be inclination, once I close this shambles down, you won't see me till next week. Snow White, you with the explicit. La, 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 la. La, la, la. Oh, oh. Witcher, save us from the beast. Huh. Snow White. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, 
the scar, ah, the frown. It's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. That's what it sounds like to me. Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest vista Toussaint affords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Don't see why not. As long as it doesn't take long. It shan't. Never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the Western Gate, near the palace. <laughs> from where we'll venture forth together. Damned. Stick a wick. A portrait of the Witcher as an old man. Damnation. Oh, that's perfect on absolutely cuckoo. Selling all that cheap. Ah, the serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind Did it of account? earn interest? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but Sweet. walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Paper chase. Gotta stop by that bank. I've got some sort of buff on my character. I'm not sure what the hell it is. It's because I touched the uh, statues. So what does it do, though? There he is. Hey there. I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Nope, just a marital spat. That's it? But 
They hollered like skewered pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here for your trouble. Thanks. In the end, the Witcher brought the enduring marital dispute to a close, thus ending the nocturnal noise it entailed. He did so by transferring the urn containing Louis de Quarantin's ashes to another crypt. Geralt can now look forward to the most pleasant stage of any contract, letting his reward. This proved even more valuable than the Witcher had initially supposed. For in addition to the payment he received from his employer, he also got a series of rare quint cards from the grateful Margot de Quarantin. How had the woman come into their possession? How else but by having concealed them from her gambling husband? Though naturally she had done this while they were both still alive. One day, an old acquaintance ran into Geralt and pulled him aside for a chat. He was a vineyard owner for whom Geralt had completed a contract some time ago. The man had been bereft of adequate coin at the time, but determined to compensate Geralt fairly one day. He had set up a savings account in the witcher's name at the local bank. Now that years' worth of interest had accrued and Geralt had returned to the duchy, he needed only go to the bank and collect his due. Something's in the wind. <laughs> Nothing doing. Never have you seen such a tournament, for such a tournament has never been held. All lovers of Gwent are invited to come compete against players from all over the world. In addition, this tournament shall be your chance to play the new and exciting Skellige faction. Count Monnier will be expecting you at the Pheasantry. Drink and loosen your belt, for you are in too small. Request in a bank. Guns. Building secured by the Rettenbach system. <laughs> the Chian Finale Bank is protected by Bruno Rettenbach's patented system. Dimeridian amplifiers, stifling auras, and other mysterious machinery guarantees absolutely security against all forms of magic attack, including hypnosis, yes? telepathy, witcher you? signs, and even spells. Bruno Reitenbach and company. With us, no one will get the jump on you. Welcome to Chanfinelli Bank. Hmm? Window one. Are you blind, sir? I'm at work here. What can I do for you? <coughs> There's a catch. No safer place than a bank. 
These customers will not be served. Sure savings for unsure times. Worried about your coin or a war in the north? Or perhaps you just wish to profit without risk? Choose the happy percentage savings account. Guaranteed rate of return on deposits of a minimum of 3,000 crowns. For detailed information, refer to Annex 37. Available at any branch. You cut the line, sir. The lives of famous bankers, Amadeus Cianfanelli. Amadeus Cianfanelli was born to a family of humble traders, but thanks to hard work and innate and entrepreneurial talent, by the age of 50, he had already established a flourishing bank. It soon became clear, however, that for the ambitious Amadeus, this was just the beginning. He quickly expanded the business. Sabling Cianfanelli Bank, branches in Kovir and Nazair, and even sending a representative to Zaracania. He became known for treating each and every customer as an old friend and cared deeply about what became of others' coin. He thus created a wide range of banking products to better allow him to look after the property of an increasingly greater number of customers. He coined the phrase that up until today has served Cianfanelli as an advertising slogan and motto, We look after your coin as if it were our own. Okay, let's see how much crown we have. Might be a surprise. Might be pleasantly surprised or sorely disappointed. Yes, right. Can I help you? Welcome to Gianfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? I'd like to change some coin. By all means. Got an account here. Like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. I can't help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records. The account holder is dead. That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit 838. For more information, please go to window number one. All right. An 838 permit from window number one. Where's window number one? Yes? Can I help you? Mm-hmm. All in order? Look at that. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. Can you tell me where I can do it then? What do you mean, wrong window? I was told I'd get permit A38 here. Please remain calm, sir, or you'll rupture a vein. So just tell me where I get this stupid document. Perhaps upstairs, in records, or downstairs in the archive? You must ask them, sir. Do just that. <laughs> what can I do for you? Catch 22. Mm. 
John Finelli safe deposit boxes. Times are tough, coins tight, and to make matters worse, there are thieves ready to pounce on even a moment's inattention. Luckily, the John Finelli Bank has a solution for you. Put your trust in one of our safe deposit boxes, which are secured not only against normal break-in methods, but also against magic and telepathy. Don't tarry. Come. Safeguard your valuables with us today. Our bank is the pride all of all the players. The Rules and Stipulations of Banking, Volume 15. Grant a loan. In order for a loan to be granted, the submission of Certificate B-43 is absolutely necessary. Detailed description of documents. Certificate B-43, document confirming the solvency of the borrower, issued on the basis of Form 213 of Certificate DD. Form 213, form issued upon presentation of two certificates. Certificate C and Certificate X, for precise description of these documents, see Banking Procedures, Volume Number 18. Certificate DD, Certificate DD is issued to the borrower after a positive verification of Procedure 222. What is it? Folk are hard at work here. I need permit A38. Any chance you could issue me a copy? Fiddlesticks. I've just run out. Wait, really? Of course not. In truth, I've never had anything of the sort. This is the archive. Listen, say I made a small donation. ...to a certain member of the bank's staff. A bribe, sir? How dare you? I truly cannot help. This is the archive. That'll be all. Thanks. Yes, yes, it's what they always say. And once you're upstairs, do tell them not to send every lost fool with a problem to me. I've work to do. <laughs> Damn bureaucracy. Yes? You have a concern? What can I do for you? All in order? No safer Con place than a bank. Always. <clears throat> right. Sir. Bump, push, shove. It's unsafe. Bide, abide, abide, we do. Yet nothing. Sorry, happens. gotta get through. Hold there. What is this? Back off the queue, sir. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own. And the customer is always right. How might I help you? This where I get permit A38? Naturally. Just hand me your form 202, please. Form 202. All right. Where do I get that document? Allow me to explain. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of form 202, as stated specifically in ordinance N60. Please, go to window number one. <sighs> Just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with form 202. That'll do, sir. Jumping the queue. How dare you! Uh, this is... This quest is brilliant, <laughs> actually. You cut in front of me, sir. Mm, 
Well, couldn't really give a crap. You boar, you churl! I will not stand for this! Just you wait, I'll teach you some manners! Go on, hit me. Oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Outside, now! Safer place than a bank. So you see, she claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Excuse me. Got something I gotta huh? take care of at window one. You cannot one. be serious. I too find it hard to believe. For Excuse me. Can you not see what it says there? We're on our break. <laughs> Celine, darling, sign this for me, will you? Oh, there you are. Listen, there's something you're on I... You're break. Ah, you try to be polite, it just never gets through. Oh my I god. Have no choice, I guess. Need to wait till they're done with their break. No safer place than a bank. I was at home the other day. Just sitting. You must wait. They have the break now. Oh, man. So, what do you hope to get here, my friend? Permit A38. Now, guess I need Form 202 as well now. Form 202? Easy peasy. Certificate P. Now, that is a challenge. But, as we are both forced to wait, fancy a round of Gwent. Hey. Why not? Let's lay him out. Now, that I understand. I'll start arranging my deck. Hmm. Right.
I don't know why he used the decoy on one of those melee units like that. Congratulations. Hmm. As your prize, I shall reveal to you my foolproof method for cutting through this bureaucracy. <laughs> Nothing ever comes of using the normal channels. I have seen them try everything. Magic, hypnosis, bribery. Nothing works. Might as well go if nothing works. There's nothing I can do. Be kind. Be pleasant. This only this. The woman here, she sits at her window 12 hours each day without hearing so much as a good day from anyone. But muster up some flowers, some perfume. <laughs> well, you will resolve your matter lickety split. <laughs> right. Certainly worth a shot. Welcome to Chanfanili Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? Need Form 202 to get a copy of Permit A38. Do you know that? Couldn't have told me? Wasted a lot of time because of you. Please, sir. There's no need to lose your temper. I thought it obvious and thus needed no stating. The form will soon be ready. Name and surname? Geralt of Rivia. Let me find it. Get on, Gemel. Here it is. Geralt of Rivia. Sorry, sir, I cannot issue Form 202. Excuse hmm. me? The applicant in question has been declared dead. Officially. Now, do tell me, sir, how am I to enter that into the ledger? Got you some flowers, just to thank you for helping me with my file. Oh, but I... I shouldn't. For me? Really? Match the color of your eyes. Oh. You, sir, are quite the charmer. Ah, please, wait a moment. I shall fetch Master Cinfanelli. Perhaps he'll arrange something that excludes the paperwork.
how you tell him, Denny Disturb, but no, always some bugger who can't stand to wait. Plow me, who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. Been a bit busy, but I'm back now and I need your help with something. Of course. Now do tell, how can I help you? Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins, see, but... No problem there. We'll get you paid up in a jiffy. I'm just gonna need to settle yon tiny wee trifle. Heard that already. Permit A38, among others. Oh, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. Chen Finelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin, now. Come on, Master Witcher, for why the ire? There's no need. We'll have it all for you. You just need to see the necessary documents. Got a document right here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. Hmm. I don't remember what the hell this is. Her enlightened highness. She's hired you. Mm-hmm. And as her personal emissary, I demand access to my account. Right now. Uh, aye, Master Witcher. This way. So how's the trade these days, Master Witcher? Can't complain. Good for you, because in our neck of the woods, things are dark, dark shite. Wine sales are dark stuck shite. in the muck and sinking deeper. It's the fucking wretched names, I tell you. Folk out with the duchy have they any notion how to say coat de blessure and all that? It twists their tongues in bloody knots. Makes them ashamed to ask for it. These damn greedy dwarves, man, I'm telling you. Done. Deposit box 256. Last you on the right. What the heck? What the hell's this, Chen Finelli? Box is empty. Well, uh, coins got to circulate. So when we learned you were dead, Master, we, uh, circulated yours. Purchased stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was hee-haw left in the box. Really ought to call it what it is. You robbed me, plain and simple. Nay, Master Witcher, never! I wouldn't dare! Oh, you'd dare. And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back, every red copper. I swear it on my nana's beard. Got a week, not one day more. You shan't regret this, I swear. I'll rustle it up. Have it ready for you in seven days. Mm -hmm. See you then. Three. This is insane.
four. Five. Six. Seven. That should be a week. Should be. Promise to deliver and I will. I'm not one to ever. My words only win. Yes? Can I help you? It's not a week, really? Or is this like a freaking week in real time? There we go. What is it? Got your coin, sir. And a wee gift to thank you for the trust you showed. This blade's the Reckoner. It saved my arse a fair number of times. Thanks, Chanfinelli. We'll call it even. One last thing. I'd like to apologize for the whole minging kerfuffle. Only 500 crown. The air here is such that one is master. What can I do for you? After a long bout of trench warfare against the bank's bureaucracy, Geralt finally reached the bank's owner, Giacomo Gianfinelli. Unfortunately, Giacomo was suffering a small liquidity crisis. In regards to Geralt's funds, Geralt decided to take a risk and wait a week, but only on condition that he would not have to procure any additional documents. Gianfinelli kept his word and not only gave the witcher his coin, but threw in a present as a bonus, an old family heirloom. It seems the banker meant what his employees were forced to repeat ad nauseum. With him, the customer is always right, and he looks after the other's coins if it were his own. I guess this word's okay. I mean, it's, it's just meh, really. They won't convert crown here? I thought they did. This is a bank, not an auberge. What can I do for you? Night, love, and wine counsel no half-hearted method. Those scars. The girls. Oh, I shiver just looking at them. Oh, 
143 carry two. My sword. Greetings, knight. Much is said in Beauclair of your bravery and dedication. Thus your security claim to compensation. The sign here, please. Two hundred crowns. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing. It's on to turn and face the strange. Turn and face the strange. What in the hell is that way across the river there? You Catholic mm. doo doo diddler. I'm a Catholic doo doo diddler, apparently. A Catholic doo doo diddler. What the hell is this bear doing here? Something in the water. It's actually an underwater cave. What the hell?
It's a freaking locked chest, so I don't have the key to it. Great. Now, I don't even know where this key's gonna be. These scars long have yearned for your tender caress to bind our forces. Damn what the stars own. Rip my heart open, then your love profess a whining, weaving fate to which we both atone. Chorus. You flee my dream come the morning you're sent. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've read this before. This is, um. Jeez, I can't remember her name, but, uh, um. She was the bard, the performer in Novigrad. We sat and we. You know, we watched her um, performance. I think her name was Marie. Looks like we found our entrance. This might... This is a decent place to stop. I'm over two hours into the stream here, and this is Memorial Day, and it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Food is an issue, and things like that have to be taken care of, so I'm going to call it here. So, this is going to wrap up episode 12 of um, Blood and Wine playthrough. Um, there might be some things I do off screen. If I can, if I can go back. I might not be able to go back here. Let's check. Okay, I can't go back. But off-screen things like going to a merchant and selling um, any excess items for gold and crown, and even maybe starting to farm some of these bases for crown or, or some of the things I might do off-screen if I have some time. 
But for sure, I'll do an inventory dump off screen because that's boring. You know, it's not worth watching. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Won't be streaming for the rest of the day. Work tomorrow. So, peace out. Hope you guys have a good Memorial Day.